All right, what's up, everybody? So I wanted to show you all something right quick. Um, Micro Swiss sent me over their new Flowtech hot end for the Neptune 4 Plus and the Neptune 4 Max. Um, some advantages with the um, Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end, as you can see, this is the factory hot end that comes in the uh, Elegoo Neptune 4 and Neptune 4 uh, Max, Neptune 4 Plus and Neptune 4 Max. So this is a design that you should be fairly, I mean, it, it's, it is, um, it resembles other designs. You have this one ceramic heater that sits right here and it heats this entire block and then you get your filament to feed out, right? Okay, but here's the, uh, here's the thing. With the Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end, you see this, you get a barrel ceramic heater. So the advantage is there is you get a much more even filament uh, heat zone for melting filament. You also, it also comes with, um, this has a, what they call a no leak design. So you have a much larger um, heat break in there than the traditional one that comes with the Flowtech. You see how you can, it's hard to see in there, but you can see how big the uh, Micro Swiss hot, uh, heat break is compared to the factory one. And as far as installation, also the other cool thing is that you can readily swap these nozzles. Um, the, you can use any of uh, Micro Swiss's uh, nozzles for this, the CM2 nozzles. Um, I've got a batch of uh, CM2 nozzles that they sent me as well, all the way up to one millimeter. Um, so that'll be great for the um, for use on the Neptune 4 Max, especially if you're printing something, you know, fairly large and you want to move a lot of material really quickly. But this is very, very easy to install. So about the only things that come in this kit is one, you get a very very well, laid, uh, very well laid out instructions step by step. But basically, you just take your your um, your hot end off. You take your extruder head off and all that. So you got your extruder motor up here, and then the hot end goes down here. And the factory hot end uh, looks like that when it's installed, and it fits right up in here. And then all you do is you take the Flowtech hot end, it comes with a new PTFE tube. What you want to do is you want to put that up inside here. Okay, you just push it right up inside, just like that. And then you simply just slot this in, line that up, push it up there until it makes. And then you have two screws that go in right there. See those two screw holes right there? And then we take the factory screws that went in there and we put them back in. Make sure that that's pushed all the way up. Tighten that down. And then put this one in. Tighten that down. Make sure that everything is tight. And then I'm going to put the uh, silicone sock back on here. Pop that up and over. Give it a little dance so it gets fits on there. And there you go. Now you have a upgraded... Uh, I think this is a 60 watt um, barrel ceramic heater on the Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end. Now, the the one caveat, and it, it's a valid point, um, that like Daisy Lee, for instance, you know, she uses the factory ones because the nozzles that you can get for these factory ones are are, are very cheap. I mean, they are very inexpensive. You can run through them however you want. Like I actually have. Over here, what I do with it? I don't know what I did with it. Uh, da, 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 da. I lost it. Okay, but I had a hardened nozzle that I was going to put in there. But um, these are very, very easy to install. I have a Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end on my Creality K1 Max, on my Creality Ender 3 V3KE, and now I'm going to have the Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end on both my Neptune 4 Plus and my Neptune 4 Max um, because of just instead of heating from one side, this one's going to 
fall off. Instead of heating from just this side with this ceramic heater, trying to heat this whole brass block, you will have a barrel ceramic heater heating around the entire melt area of the nozzle. And then all you do is you just simply hook the cables back up. You got your thermistor cable right over here. Make sure I have that the right way. Oh, God, these are such tiny connectors. Uh, get in there. Come on. Come. All right, listen. Don't be difficult. You tiny, my big old fat fingers trying to get this tiny little connector in there. Okay. It would help if I didn't have it upside down, but I did. So we're going to pop that in. Okay. So now that one, the thermistor cable's in. And then we're going to take the heater core here and we're going to hook it in. I'm going to try to fold all these back. And then you literally just pop this in right here. These wires are thick. Come on. There. And then there we go. Now I'm going to tidy up these wires some. A little bit better tidy them up there and then there you go now the micro swiss flow tech hot end is installed and like i said the instructions are very very easy you know it uh tells you it says tuck the brown heater wire into the gap on the left side of the heat sink so actually you just tuck this back in down here Just tuck it back and away, just like that. And it's all nice and neat. And that's all it is to install this upgrade. So I'm going to get this thrown back on uh, my Neptune 4 and uh, my Neptune 4 Max right there. And then installing it is really easy, too. All you do is there's three screws, one, two, and three. And then there's two little screws on the front. That's, uh, that's all it is to take the... Uh, the whole uh, hot end and extruder off and everything like that. So I want to thank Michael Swiss for uh, sending this out to me. I'm a big fan of their products. I've used plenty of them. So just wanted to show you all that right quick. 